Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and so I am back working on our um, Spooky Times little faux front envelope. Well, it's not little, it's big. Big faux front envelope, 9x12. Um, so it's one of those 9x12 envelopes, the clasp envelopes, if you haven't seen, you know, how I did the original part of it. So I covered it all in um, different papers, some craft paper and some paper that's been printed with lace and used paint and um, distress ink in the black soot and some stamps and things just to give it all that kind of a texture. And then I added the faux front on it. So that's where we're at. <clears throat> and so I've kind of come up with a clasp idea and I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed, okay? Um, I think it will because this is kind of the way Gail did it. So I don't think this is totally like odd or out there, but sorry, I got to get all the gunk off my tacky glue here. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's been a pretty good day. I've just been busy like usual. I didn't think I was going to get to do a video, but I'm like, I just really want to work on it. <laughs> so I'm going to turn on the camera. Um, so I used some coffee stained um, manila file folder and just added a piece of paper um, from the kit, that kind of leaf design that's um, like medieval or whatever. So I'm only going to put glue on this bottom section down here. And I think I need to kind of do this a little bit. I want to keep it down at this end, not the top end, which I kind of messed up right there, because um, that's going to be the, you know, the flap in and out. So we don't want glue up there. Put that. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball what I think is roughly the middle. <clears throat> and it's not going to be perfect because Lord knows I am not that but I will try to get it close. Get all the glue off my fingers, maybe. So this, I'll probably just let this sit and dry while we work on a few other things, because obviously it's going to take it a minute. I'll put a little clip on there, just to make sure it stays down on those little edges right there. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good day laying around here having trouble getting back in the swing of working in the morning and then coming home and working <laughs> again so um, yeah it's like two different two different works you know just kind of interesting I'm trying to get back into that <clears throat> it was a little bit nice this summer when all the work I had to do was on this stuff and then you know, I could get stuff shipped out and everything early in the morning and um, not have to worry about it for the rest of the day. And then I could do my videos and whatever. So it's been a little tricky trying to get everything going again. So I'm just going to basically do this almost like I'm using it as a tuck spot or a, you know, place for a card or something like that. I'm going to come a little bit further just because I don't want it to get torn up or something but I really need to leave that spot open so that the little tab can go in and out and obviously that's way more than enough room but um, you know you don't want it to have trouble you know I do want to leave a little bit of the black just so this doesn't look weird like she's just you know all the way at the edge of the paper Cause there's enough tab that it'll it'll still work. We're not going to be able to make the journal that goes in here, well, the altered notebook, really thick because um, you know this just won't work for that. And I thought about doing a different kind of clasp, but I really like this type for this because it's nice and flat and everything so I guess whoever gets it could change it if they wanted to I 
I just like to make sure all that glue is cleaned up. I don't like it when it's there's marks where it is. Even though it dries clear, it just bugs me. All right. I really need to do what I'm um, like. Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, she uses a dry paper towel, and I just never have any because I'm upstairs in my house, and I forget to bring them up here all the time until I'm doing something like this, and then I'm like, man, it'd be nice to have a dry paper towel. So anyway, now I'm going to let those dry, and then we'll come back and see how it works. Oh, wait, I am going to put this other stuff on, though. So I clipped this out of, I got this last year. I think I got it at the dollar store. It was like a whole table runner. Um, of spider webs. So I just kind of clipped this particular piece of spider web out. And I think I'm just going to kind of um, keep an eye on that. And like these corners are attached sort of idea. And then I think I'm going to put this here. And this is out of the digi. It's the printout. And then I just backed it with manila file folder. And uh, you know I cut it out and left that. And then I went around the edges with scissors and scraped to kind of, you know, give it that sort of aged look and inked it all the way around. That's all I did to that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And I think I will pop it up just a little bit. Um, I got some of this tape stuff that foam tape I hope will work. I'll put some glue on it too because I don't trust it totally. I probably should have done that with her too. Didn't think of it until now. But I'm hoping that will go under there. So I'm going to go around and just put a little glue on here because I don't ever trust um, these strips entirely. I've had things fall apart and I don't like that. So just to kind of give it a little extra grab. <clears throat> This will just pop it up a tiny bit and it'll be kind of good. And if it's hanging over anywhere, I'll just snip it afterwards, obviously. It sticks to my scissors, that's not a problem. The scissors are not hefty enough. I'm guessing no scissors are hefty enough for that. <laughs> It wants to just grab. I guess that's the problem when you buy it cheap, right? I'm going to come down a little bit because I'm not going to have enough room right there to have that strip. Probably why I don't use this kind of stuff because I always make a mess. Let me get that corner there. Probably once the paper's gone, it'll be fine. Things are starting to get into order at school, and that is super helpful because <laughs> we all know it can get crazy. Even if you don't work at a school, you know. Just imagine. Just imagine what 133 kindergartners, <laughs> what that's like. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my world. And they're so stinking cute, and I just love them. Man almighty, is it hard to get them organized at the beginning of the year. And it always is. It's not like anything in particular. It's just that they've never been to school before. <clears throat> but I, we were joking, and I think I might have mentioned this on my last video, but it really is a lot like herding cats. Like, <laughs> 
trying to get them used to the routine in the cafeteria and all those type of things. It's really amazing. You, stuff that you just don't think about because by the end of the year they're just doing everything just fine and, and, and you know don't need a lot of assistance or anything and so then when the new year comes you think wow what in the world like how did we do this last year <laughs> but we did it and I'm sure we'll do it again it's just crazy they're so cute though I love those little ones. They're just fun. The things they say and everything. <laughs> They're just funny. Uh, so, yeah. But it's starting to get a little bit better. They were a little more on it today in the cafeteria and recess and everything. They're starting to kind of figure out the program. And we had a little bit less crying and all that good stuff. So, yeah. It's getting there. They're adorable. You feel so bad for them when they get crying because, you know, they just want their mom, which we all understand, because they've never been at school before. But it's like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You've got to come to school. <laughs> They're cute. Okay, now where did I set that other piece? Oh, that's right here. Tunnel vision. Watch out for the tunnel vision. I tend to get that real bad sometimes. I can only see right smack in front of me and nowhere else. I guess I don't need any on that middle part, huh? I'm trying to think. I kind of want a little bit of this burnt edge and stuff showing. says curiouser and curiouser all Halloween. Okay, there's that. So I think we're going to have to let this dry because if I do too much flipping it open, but we are going to work on this, what's going in that inside part right there. <clears throat> Set that over there. And then I have this ready. I thought we might use this. And we're going to use some junk mail. Because I like this window in this um, particular envelope. So I'm going to cut it. I already figured out what size I need. So I'm just going to cut this end off because it doesn't really matter. It's not like an important part down here. Because we can just glue it closed. And I did cut the flap off because it was a little bit um, raggedy and ripped and stuff. So I just went ahead and did that. And then this is a little bit messed up right there so we're gonna have to take that into consideration when we do this so I'm just gonna add a bead of glue right down here like we do and this is nothing new I'm sure you've seen loads of people doing stuff with these type of envelopes but it's always fun to remind ourselves because I know I forget sometimes and I use other envelopes when I could use these which might as well use them instead of throwing them in the trash. So, And I have no idea what I'm going to put in that window yet, but I'm sure we can figure out something. Sorry, I got glue all over me. So I think what we'll do is some decoupage with these. And I got these last year at Target, so I have no idea if you can get them, you know, if they'll have them this year or not. But anyway, I need to grab some tape, sorry. I always think I have everything and I never do. But yeah, these were funny and I got ghosts too, but I think for this particular one I just want these. They go a little bit better. The ghosts are a little more, um, I don't know, cartoony. And it's not that these aren't cartoon, I just think they go better with what we have on this. And there's only one layer on those. And then it's just this top layer, so we don't have to worry about peeling another layer off. I think. Let me make sure. Come up here. You know. Yeah, there's no more layers. <clears throat> All 
right, and I think I'm going to do this with glue stick just so that I don't have my glue sticks over here. Um, I just don't really want that. I can't think of words today. I've got a headache. I've had a headache for like, this is the fourth day. <laughs> I think it's really starting to get to me. <laughs> so um, we might have to cover this a little bit just so it doesn't show through. Or So I'm going to just take a little bit of black tissue paper. Why have I never? I really don't get headaches very often, so it's kind of weird. It's probably just stress or whatever. I'm just gonna kind of do that sort of thing underneath, and I'll trim it just so that we don't have to see that all that. And this is State Farm up here. Put that flat edge down towards the the window, so maybe we can just get that out of the way a bit. If I can get a hold of this, hey, Minnie. There we go. And I don't mind if it overlaps the window a tiny bit because I would rather that than have that white um, sticking out. Because that definitely won't go with this whole project. And that little 11 is not a big deal either. I just don't want it to be, have all this obvious, you know, state farm and whatever else on it. Okay. So I'm just going to rip pieces. And I know I could use, you know, and I might for a little bit of it. Um, my watercolor brushes because I already have water in them so it's kind of nice because I do kind of want to get this bumpy edge off I don't want a bumpy edge on it so those work really nice because then you don't have to worry about dipping it or um, you know keep having a cup of water that you can spill all over the place so these work really well for that sorry I'm all over the place <laughs> with the words so my niece texted me and she they are gonna get married here yay so we don't have to go to Arizona in June <laughs> Plus, you know, obviously it's awesome. I really want them to move back up here, so that'd be great. The more they're here, the better. They really want to, too. They just can't right now because of jobs, but eventually I'm sure that they will do that. And so you can see where it's roughly along the edge. I'm going to just kind of bring it right uh, up to the window. And you can see the black a little bit under there, but I'm fine with that. That's fine. So I'm just going to keep taking pieces off and putting them on there. So if you have something to work on, I would definitely do that. because this is going to take me a minute. And, or if you want to fast forward, feel free. I totally understand. Need that under there, but then it's sticking to everything, so... I am going to overlap this just a little because I don't want... Oh my goodness, what is my dilemma here? I don't want the edges to... not look you know done actually overlap this guy do this and I'll take this little guy off put my pin 
Oh my word, my brain. fill this in a little bit more. Let's see which one would be good there. And I'm over here just going around this guy. Oh, I don't want that one because he's got the bumpies on him. It's the technical term, you know. So maybe this one will work even though he doesn't have a... Huh. I want the stem. So let's see what we can get here. I'm just tearing this piece out. to do this the most difficult way. I will find it. I will find the most difficult way, believe me. So I want that guy because I think he'll fit well there. It might have even been this one originally. I don't know. Yeah, so I felt so bad yesterday after I finished my video and I realized that, um, Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts is working with my 1891 kit. Here I almost forgot because, you know, she hasn't been on for a while. And um, then I mess up on which kit she's working with. It's like people are going to go over there and be like, that's not the antique posy one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, brain. The brain. You just never know what craziness it's going to get up to. Okay, and a lot of this I may have to like do a little fixing after stuff dries because when it's wet it's really hard to, um, you know, make it work. So I'm just going to take a piece of this one. It doesn't totally stick to my fingers and do this corner right here. And you know, you might want to decoupage this if you like to do that better and you um, want that slicker version. It just, I don't know, I don't love Mod Podge. Even the mat isn't as flat as I would like it to be. So sometimes I just don't use it. But it, it probably would work better than doing it this way, especially with the pieces. If you're doing a whole one piece or just one section it works better but anyways okay so let me get this piece let me go over that a little because I didn't do that on that one part and then Kind of messed up. I think I'm gonna have to take away uh, not yet the little guy. So where's my oops part of that one. And I can just come in like this. That's sure the same. <laughs> Parts of them are going to get cut off, so it's not really going to matter. And I will be fixing some of it with some ink and stuff, so. Right. This window right here is a little bit messed up. It's 
see if I can get it to stay down a little better. And I just need a strip, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see if this little little dude will fit right here. Fingers are all sticky. <clears throat> it's really hard to mess with napkins when your fingers are sticky. This guy down under the round one here will work. It's funny, it's all these like light orange colored ones are skiing. Probably just gonna have to use some pieces and just kind of make it work because um, sorry I'm just trying to figure out what I want to use here These probably work even though they're the same again <laughs> And if I get some on that film, I will try to wipe it off because I don't want the glue on the film. And another bottom maybe of a pumpkin here. Anywhere. I don't want that one again. I'm just taking a piece out. I know I'm off screen over here. Now this one's so cute down here, but he's in the bumpy part. Let's do, I guess this guy isn't the same. Do something over here so maybe this guy will fit over there since it's not going to be all of him anyway. <clears throat> and then We got it covered, so I will trim that up once it's all dry, but um, when it's wet, it just kind of makes a mess when you try to do that, so I'm not even going to try it. I'm going to wipe my fingers off and try to wipe this window off a little bit, just because I don't want it to be gluey. And like I said, if there are some parts that are hanging over, I'm really fine with that. Okay, I think that will work. So that'll go in the inside as kind of, you know, one of our pockets or something. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all this off my fingers because I can't stand that. It drives me nuts. Right. I mean, it's fine to an extent, but then when it's just sticking to everything, it's not so fine. 
All right, I'm gonna set that over there to dry. Get all this cleaned off. I don't think I need this for this next part. I don't need these. So what I do need is that piece of these. This is really cool. It's, um, I think it was meant to go like that. But I was thinking, let me see, where was I? The part I was going to glue down was this middle part. So either way, it, yeah, it could go like that. And we have a phone number there and everything. Because <laughs> if, if there's junk mail sitting around, I write on it if I get a phone call. But there's already a pocket in it right here, too, so I thought that was kind of fun. So we'll see what we can come up with, with this. I have no guarantees because I don't know if it's going to cover very well because it's kind of bright. But we'll start with the front and see what we can do. I could put a little, like, book page under there, too, I guess. That would probably help. Which I might go ahead and do that. Where is my... I need an old... An old one that looks old. Sorry, I'm just looking for something to cover that with. Oh, there it is. Sorry. I got that one at a antique store. And it's like I almost don't want to tear it, but it's really cool. And it's really destroyed. Like, it got wet and something else stuck to it. But wouldn't that make a cool journal cover? It's just already all, like, janky. <laughs> and I love that. Let's do like one of these. Oh look, it's McCarthy's grave. How perfect is that? So where's my tear ruler? Wow, I promise you, like I had stuff today ready to go and now I just am a mess because everything's everywhere. There we go. We can leave this little bit out because that'll look kind of cool. McCarthy's grave. I guess I could measure this, huh? That would be different. It's my version of measuring. Did you like it? I'm <laughs> uh, not good at that. Okay, I'm going to have to do something because I do not like the way that color comes through there. Got water on there. So maybe let's do a strip of this at least and try to get it right up to the edge. I'll just go like this because I don't want that water stain. I do want this off, but I think I'm going to leave this edge flat so that it comes right up against there because I don't want to see I don't want to see any of that color or anything coming through so I'll probably do this and then I will let you guys go let me see how long are we 34 minutes And I will ink the edges too. Black came right off of there. Just want to get some. 
coverage so when I put this on it's not I'm trying to get it in between the glue spots here yeah it's from the 1800s so <clears throat> it's a little bit fragile and of course I glued it right down to the page get another sheet. I'm basically just talking to myself, sorry. <laughs> Probably drive you guys insane. Uh. so it stops sticking to everything. Uh, what else do we want to put on there? These leaves would be kind of neat. I don't think the pumpkin will fit. It's too wide, I think. Could get quite a bit of him. I don't think I want all of that though. I just want like a section something. But this and this are too, ma too matchy. It's not that I love having this here, but I think it'll work. Because I can come right about like that. And then I can put something else on there and trim those edges. Just kind of making my background. I like the purple, I just don't love the lines. That's all for, you know, like collage. Um, when you're not using it, obviously, to journal on or whatever. Got that like that. So I'm gonna put the glue on this. Because I don't need the whole piece glued. too wet there. Hopefully it'll dry okay. It's the only thing that's hard with that. little kind of like that, some of that okay and then we need something down across there like maybe some of that lace oh there's already lace right there Duh. what else what else Kind of like the middle section. I 
not loving that for some reason. I would think I would because the irregular irregularity of it, but I don't. strings like a hot glue gun kind of but I love those they're totally worth the glue strings because they actually work and hold the stuff which is amazing so there's lots of glue sticks that don't you know what? I'm just gonna leave that like that I kind of like that overhanging thing and then what I think is One of the girls, and I had one I tore out. It's all ready to go. If I can just find her, I do with it. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess I'm going to tear another one out. That's really weird. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense. All right, well, let's try it again. It was the pumpkin one. tear that one out of the whole page, but I guess I'm going to have to because I don't know where the other one is. Alrighty then. Look at my big picture. Make sure it's not here. <laughs> well, who knows where she went. She would be cute just because this is going to go next to the um, envelope with the pumpkins all over it so it would be kind of a good cute I mean not that it has to match I just saying And the music notes more than the lines, so I really need to like ink around her edges so she stands out against all that similar color. like I need a little something else. Let me see what it would look like with like a little piece of this. Oh my goodness, my phone won't quit. <laughs> Whoever's looking for me is probably like, um, where are you? Try it. Hopefully it won't ruin it. 
the only problem is this piece of paper that she is on is a little bit um, thin. So it might be a problem. You see what I'm doing? Okay. I'll make sure I wasn't like entirely off or something. It just needed something. I don't know. I think it's okay. This is pretty flat lace, so. All right, so there's part of it. We could add a little something else on there. I think I'm going to get out some Tim Holtz stuff, but I didn't, so I'm not going to make you wait while I do that. I'll work on that later. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to stop there. So, and then I'll get out more of my stuff and we can continue on with our little envelope next time. And I may do some stitching on it. I haven't decided about that yet. But let's look at this and see how it's going. So I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to really hope that it does. Because <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be very easy to... Okay, yeah, it goes in there pretty easy. And then once everything else is in there, it'll work. Okay, so where did that, this, this is going to go roughly right here. And then something in there, I don't know yet. And it'll be cut better. And then this goes right here. And then I'll leave back here open so that I can have some things sticking out there too. So that's the plan. We'll see if it comes to fruition or not. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you, um, I might work on this a little bit more too and just see what, if there's an easier way to make that. I mean, it definitely fits right in there. It's just a matter of getting it in there. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And this is my Spooky Times Digi. So if you like it or want it or whatever. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye now.